Insulation. Correct insulation of cavity walls. With double wall masonry, in this case one with subsequent insulation, the surface of the bearing wall must be flat and without protruding mortar residues. Only then are there no cavities between the insulation and the supporting wall. The base point is formed by attaching a moisture sealing below. Moisture sealing is also installed on the water repellent insulation. Heat the upper moisture seal with hot air and then press it firmly on the clinker wall. This moisture sealing needs an outward slope. Then the holes for the cavity wall anchors are drilled and the anchors are introduced. The manufacturer informs you about the necessary number and spacing of the anchors. Start insulating in the corner. Cut the first board at an angle on the downside, then push it over the anchor. The boards must be staggered in each row. The facade panels also have to be staggered. Keep the second layer of insulation panels in position by means of a plastic clip. This leaves space for rear ventilation. The insulation boards are closely attached to each other. After the insulation, the exposed brickwork is assembled. A wooden plate over the joint helps to keep mortar out of the airspace. Attention! Because of the connection to the supporting wall, the anchor in the bed joints has to be grouted well. For the next row of tiles, remove the slats. At the lower and upper end of the facade, open vertical joints are needed for rear ventilation. Summary. To insulate double wall masonry properly, consider the following. The upper moisture sealing needs an outward slope. Install insulation panels staggered and tightly. Keep the insulation panels free from dirt, from mortar or the like. Then there is optimal thermal protection.